I do, I do think it's rather unlikely that Jesus Galilean followers, people like fishermen and farm workers and so on, who, who were the 12 apostles and, and other followers of Jesus from Galilee, uh, I think it's very unlikely that those people could have written the Gospels we have. I mean, one can't say it's impossible. They could have had all kinds of literary help and so on. You know, We don't know enough. But it's unlikely that any of the Gospels were written by a fisherman or a Galilean peasants. Um, and I don't claim that they were. Um, the traditional theory about Luke, of course, is that he's a Greek-speaking uh, um, Gentile, um, not from Palestine at all, but he spent time in Palestine, he met people. Um, I agree with Bart that Matthew the Apostle could not have written Matthew's Gospel. Um, apart from literary capability, um, Matthew's Gospel is based on Mark, it's written in Greek, and, and so forth. All I would say about Matthew is that the title Gospel according to Matthew doesn't, of course, have to indicate authorship. It means Matthew's version of the Gospel. So all I would say about Matthew is that because I think the title probably goes back to the origins, the Gospel must have been in some way associated with the Apostle Matthew, but I don't think it was written by Matthew. Um, uh, and I don't think the author of John's Gospel was John, the son of Zebedee, the fisherman. I think he too, like John Mark, was an educated Jerusalem Jew. And we do have to take account of the fact that when uh, the early Christian movement moved, as it did right from the beginning, to Jerusalem, um, it's composed not only of Galilean peasants, but also of all sorts of people who were living in Jerusalem. Um, elite, educated uh, Jews, uh, Jews from the diaspora whose native language was Greek. Um, already within the original Jerusalem church, uh, you've got people who are perfectly capable of writing Gospels. And those are the people I think wrote Mark's Gospel and John's Gospel. And, and John, though, do you make the case that John and the author of Revelation are one and the same? No, I think that's very unlikely. Okay. 